Can everyone hear me? Uh, if I just introduce myself just very briefly, you can see who I am on there. Um, I think the main thing about me is you want to know more, um, have a look on the um, biography. Uh, the thing, main thing about me, I was born in Trinidad, grew up in the West Indies, and when I was 10, my parents left Tropical Paradise for Grimsby. So it was the fish <laughs> stops uh, was actually my life. Uh, and that's had a profound impact on my life. I'm a great believer in the real over the virtual. I think a lot of our kids today are actually seeing the opposite way round. So I'm going to start with a challenge for you. Uh, can you just actually, with your feet, can you get your feet rotating in a clockwise direction? Everyone get your foot rotating in a clockwise direction. And at the same time, with your right hand, can you draw a large six in the air? And keep your foot going the same way. <laughs> How many people can do it? Okay, um, just um, one thing about that we're looking for today is um, that what is the actual role of the SLT? And I think it's is actually a very, very big difference now of what's actually happening. Um, that there's a lot of fear in the classrooms. There's a lot of fear from teachers as to things which are actually new. There's a lot of fear from the senior leadership team. You don't need to know how to do stuff. You need to know what can be done. The teachers don't need to know how to do stuff. They need to release the kids and let them get it done. I'm going to have a very quick go today at trying to persuade you that iPads are the way forward because they can add some serious value to learning. One of the things we're looking for is the future. And one of the things we're looking for in the future... Give me tea. Can you go on tea? Uh, can I just say one thing? This is innovation, but I can't stream from my iPad. I have to wave to my colleague over the end of the thing. And another one, please. And I think in the future, this is actually, we're actually entering the scariest part ever, probably of all humanity. Um, in the Industrial Revolution, they actually removed the limitations of muscles, and it changed the world forever. Within the next four, five, six years, we're looking at the limitations of humanity's brain, actually, power being overridden. Um, if we look at Siri, for example, now, it's a long way off being perfect. In six years' time, Siri will be 16 times as good if we follow Moore's law. And if you actually want to look at this Prezi, which is available online, you'll see Andrew McAfee's presentation. Just go straight on from that one, please. Um, what the next thing we're actually um, looking for, then, is innovation. And what actually is innovation? Can we actually go to the next one? Because um, innovation has been so often... Back one. Um, Innovation has so often been, what you see on the screen there, costly stuff, high-tech kit, lying unused in schools. That's a BBC report. That's a rather scary girl. Does anyone actually think that's rather, that's rather scary? <laughs> that it like, quite intimidates me. Um, and a lot of stuff being used, interactive whiteboards, etc., being unused, not being used to a fraction of what they can actually capable of. Next, please. So have a look at the Nesta stuff, and you can actually go. Can I go to the next one, please? Okay, so let's actually add to learning. And what I want to do for learning is to show you some stuff on the iPad. So I'm going to go across to here. Okay, I'm going to actually start with um, iMovie and to give you an example of iMovie. This is a year six lesson that I taught. Okay, now the thing is about this lesson, they had to actually create a four-character animation. They had to script it, they had to actually produce it, film it, do a, voice, um, do a soundtrack for it, and record it. Now, how long did that take? 45 minutes from start to finish. Now, to me, that is 45 minutes of incredible innovation, something that really, really does transform. The other thing I use it for, and I use it for a lot, is actually moving where I'm actually following students' learning journeys. Uh, one of the roles I have is I actually teach physics through outdoor pursuits, um, our science of surfing, etc. And this is a climbing one, and I'm following this, ch this child's... I want to follow his learning experience. What's his learning journey? What's he thinking? Um, and so this is very simple. He's going to traverse a wall, and as he goes across the wall, he's got no rope. Um, so he needs to find out, can he... You need to look at me now, please, everyone. Can he hold on longer with his arms like this or his arms like this. 
okay? And I want you to make that decision. So can you all either put your arms like this or your arms like this, depending on whether you think you can hold on longer, which, which way do you think you can hold on longer? Could everyone just do that for me, please? Okay, and let's have a look and see whether we could decide this from his experiment. Okay, now that's an absolutely appalling experiment from a physics point of view. It actually tells me nothing at all. But from a learning perspective, that is gold dust, absolutely gold dust. Um, because I've actually followed their journey. Now, looking at it, it tells me nothing because I've got two people holding two different holes in two different ways. Old Ivan there has been up the wall for quite some time already and he's got his feet down. It's not actually very good learning. But what can I do with it now? And this is why I think it's a killer app. Um, I can actually split it. I can actually delete that clip. I can bring in another clip. Um, when I bring in the other clip, what can I do with it? I can actually delete the soundtrack on that one, take the sound off it. And then what can I do? I can actually record my own voiceover. Okay, in evaluation, what we can find is blah, 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 blah. Stop. Okay, and I can set that. And what do I do? What do I get now? Okay, and I'm sure you can appreciate, that's a serious, serious learning journey, and that's a serious tool. This is not something that isn't going to transform education. This is going to change everything. I just want to show you another quick app, which is EduCreations. Um, now, when I'm teaching, for example, I'm actually teaching graphs and things, I'm not looking for, um, I'm not looking for things that, that is actually out of the realms of their experience. So this is a teacher stressing us against NARCS one, and I'm just going to record this on EduCreations just to actually show you. So this is my standard teacher. What story is this graph telling me? It's telling me that when the class is quiet, when there's no teacher bells, the teacher is not remotely stressed. Not likely to be very true, he thinks. As the class noise increases, the teacher stressiness increases um, in a, la a standard way. Here's a question for you, though. If we actually, I'm sorry, it does look like a penis when I've drawn that. Um, <laughs> and, uh, it was, it's a good thing to keep you awake. Now, what actually would happen to that teacher if that teacher came in the next day and has actually had been out and been, has actually hung over? What would the graph look like? Well, it would look like a completely different graph. It would start higher um, because he's starting off stressier and it would have a higher gradient. What might happen to that teacher when teachers see? What's happened to him today? He's actually gone deaf, right? So teacher C has gone deaf. What's happened to teacher D? What's happened to teacher D? He's died. Okay, so what we can do now is we can actually look, oh, what is teacher E like? Stressy, 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 reaches the thing, kaboom, we all know teachers like this. But what I can do now, I can save that, I can actually record that, save the lesson, I can set it up to where I want to go. Ah, that's one thing, one thing, go to private. Thank you very much.